Hey friends, Allison Hillman here. I am the Allison in BTP by Allison, been there photography. And this is a presentation of Lady Boss Branding's 321 Blast, where I am bringing you the best St. Louis has to offer in the way of small businesses and nonprofits. Today is no exception. I have a compass of entrepreneur life here in St. Louis. I have the Haley Johnston of the, and I'm going to say this wrong, so I'm going to read it. St. Louis Equity and Entrepreneurship Collective. Hello. Hello. How are you, my friend? I'm doing well. How so are you? I'm so. This is a new gig for you. You've you've been ingrained in the helping entrepreneurs in different aspects. Um, you were with a group before that helped with like patents and things like that. But I really feel like you are in your realm of genius now with what you're doing now. Um, so. As I understand it, this collective works with women entrepreneurs here in St. Louis, and especially women of color, just to navigate and find the resources that they need. And in this time, you're working on those of us that may have never worked from home before, and um, just find the avenues to make that successful. And you're just kind of a unsung hero there, my friend. Oh no, thank you. <laughs> so what have you learned since starting this new gig? What is, what is, what's it like, I know you're so excited. So tell me a little bit about that. Yeah. So the collective was an idea in like August of 2016, 12 of the entrepreneur support organizations here in St. Louis or ESOs as we like to call them got mm -hmm. together and was like, Hey, we need to do something to support women entrepreneurs and entrepreneurs of color here in St. Louis because the, the data was telling us that l their businesses weren't lasting as long, they weren't getting as much access to our resources and our funding. So um, in the end of the year, the collective received a $420,000 grant oh, wow. from the Coffee Foundation to support this work. And so um, the work really started in 2017 and I've been involved since 2017 as a um, inaugural planning task force uh, member when it was just a bunch of people who were free and available, the willing and available. Um, there was no staff in the beginning, all volunteers. Um, and we, I worked on different action teams, um, one being the data collective. So mm -hmm. uh, making sure that we're capturing all the appropriate data and all of the people who should be part of the data we're collecting are at the table and um, they're information is being uh, shared across the ecosystem. Um, and then earlier this year, we got more money. And so we were able to hire our executive director, Lashana Lewis, who I think you may know, she's wonderful. She's been mm -hmm. around she's fantastic. a million times. She's great. And so I am so lucky to be working alongside her and our nine uh, steering committee members. And so yeah, it's it's only week three for me, and the first two weeks were the beginning of not being allowed to leave your house. So it's been an interesting transition to a new job. Well, but this has been your heart and soul. Like you said, you've been doing this for three years. So yeah, this, so I have been pretty, it was funny coming in and knowing so much from a historical standpoint of an organization. Right. Um, I was at I-10 previously, and then before that, I was at Gateway Venture Mentoring Service. So I've been part of entrepreneur support organizations directly helping on a micro level of supporting the entrepreneurs one-on-one, -on -one, but I'm excited to actually use my two social work degrees and help, um, help those entrepreneurs on a more macro level and a systems and policy level. That's amazing. So what some may not know at home, St. Louis per capita has the largest spread of women entrepreneurs in the country there's i mean women really run this city when it comes to small business so it makes sense well it i hate there has to be an organization like yours because of that it just period but it makes sense that people are waking up and paying attention and understanding that something has got to change so i just think that's amazing everything that you're doing so if Whoever, someone's watching this and they're like, oh my goodness, I wonder if I'm missing out on something. Where would they go to find the information? So our website is stlequitycollective.org. 
Um, you can sign up for our newsletter there. We promise we don't send out too much. Uh, we won't spam your mailboxes. And we're actually finalizing some partnership and sponsorship agreements right now that should be done in the next couple of weeks um, to kind of restructure how to join the collective. Um, originally, we kind of called them as activators and co-creators. Um, and so we're kind of changing up that language. So if you go to the website today, it may look a little different in a couple weeks, but um, really trying to get people on every um, end of the spectrum of entrepreneurs. So we want entrepreneurs to be invested. We want investors to be invested. And we also want other entrepreneur, entrepreneur support organizations to get involved so that we hit, we're hitting all the aspects of the entire system. That's amazing. Um, so the link to that will be in the video description. And if you're watching this on YouTube, it will be um, in the description as well. So, Haley, you know I love you. Um, I just, <laughs> you amaze me on so many levels, the way that you give back to our city in the way of entrepreneurs. You always find a niche where you can plug yourself in and just help. Like I said, you are literally in your realm of genius right now. And I'm just, I'm so excited what you're going to do for this organization. So now that we have gotten to know you from the collective standpoint, let's get to know you on the personal standpoint. I know you don't overthink these questions. Okay. Um, um, for those of you at home, as I always say, business needs to be personal. So you need to find someone that matches who you are, who you are as a family, your values, your personality and such. And these questions will help us get to know her just a little bit better. So oh, three great. minutes on the clock. What motiv motivates you to work hard? St. Louis as a city. I think people who are on the outside looking in don't understand how big and supportive this community is. Um, it is really community over competition, especially in the ecosystem that I work in. Um, we're coming together with, with all these different organizations that some would consider competitors, but we're working to try to make a more equitable St. Louis. And per capita, St. Louis is the most generous city in the country. Ooh, I, I love know. seeing that every year, um, that number pop out. So um more businesses and from a business standpoint and individual standpoint we give more money per capita than any other um what is your proudest accomplishment shoot um i helped build a dog park it took two and a half years of my life that i will never get back but um i was there from initial conversations on the next door app about if people wanted a dog park to the opening day when we popped bottles of champagne and cut the ribbon and now we have we opened in june of last year and we have over 120 members now so i'm pretty dang proud of it every time i walk by i get to say i helped do that are there bricks still available yeah mm -hmm. i'm gonna post that link as well because if you go i have a brick there and i think you should too uh what is your favorite season summer i hate favorite people. yes you do Favorite drink? Wine. Any particular kind? Sauvignon Blanc. Mm. Um, what, okay, it's your last meal. What are you having? Um, every single variety of cheese that is available in the world. I love you. Um, what has been your favorite family vacation? Ooh, I think most recently in May, um, my cousin got married in Destin, Florida, and it was the first vacation that my fiance went on with my family. He was not my fiance yet, but he asked my parents on that vacation if he could ask me to marry him. And it was, I don't know, it was a fun vacation. What makes you laugh the most? Uh, my dogs, they're pretty goofy. Bad name, Maggie. Um, what was the last movie you watched? Oh, I think I watched, um, it was on Disney Plus. It was called Togo. Yes! It's it was so good. Movie. What are you binge watching on Netflix? Or Hulu? Um, not on Netflix, but we are binge watching Summer House. It's this Bravo TV show about these friends who go to like Montauk every weekend of the summer. It's trash TV, but it keeps your mind off bigger things. Perfect. <laughs> I'm really loving the um, reality show of the Bush family, and it's 
completely garbage TV, but my brain loves it. Yep. All right. So St. Louis lightning round. What is your favorite St. Louis zoo animal? Oh, I love them all. Uh, I, I like the penguins, the penguin house. What is your favorite St. Louis attraction? Uh, the zoo. Okay. I'm surprised you didn't say the botanical gardens as much as you're there in the summer. I do love the botanical gardens, but I love the zoo. I love animals so much. It's true. All right. You have friends come to St. Louis. They tell you to show them St. Louis. Where are you taking them? Um, we're going to do a golf cart ride through Soulard. We're going to get Mission Taco. Um, I'm not going up in the arch because I'm afraid of heights and that it's terrifying to me. Um, but I might show them the new arch grounds and then probably go back to Soulard. Perfect. <laughs> What is your favorite, this is going to be, I'm really looking forward to your answer on this. What is your favorite St. Louis restaurant? Um, by amount of dollars spent, it would probably be Mission Taco. I have gotten curbside pickup like three times this quarantine, and I think all three times it's been Mission Taco. Um, I just, I'm a sucker for Mission Taco. St. Louis or Chicago style pizza? St. Louis. Okay. All right, folks, this has been another episode of Lady Boss Branding's 321 Blast. Haley, thank you for being with me. Thanks um, for that. Oh, it's my pleasure. And thank you for all you're doing for small businesses in our city. Thank you. Have a good day. <laughs> the old saying goes, when a small business makes a sale, they do a little happy dance. So make sure you're shopping local and put a little groove back into our world. Have a great day.